Hi, it's Bill Skolodowski, and it's time for another exciting edition of What's New Wednesday. Every Wednesday, something brand new and cool with your iPhone or your iPad. And uh, boy, you've had lots to talk about this past week or so with the introduction of iOS 14. That's iOS, it stands for iPhone Operating System, or iPad Operating System. It's the same thing. And the brand new software has been out for eh, a little bit more than a week. So chances are, if your phone has been plugged into power and on the internet and all of that, it's probably updated itself. If it hasn't, you can check back to the What's New Wednesday video of a week ago, and I will show you exactly how you can get that upgrade installed on your phone. So if you haven't, you might want to do it. And believe me, there's so many cool new features, you'll definitely want to do it. So I thought we would review just a little bit about the app library today. And then I have a cool new feature to show you where you can hide whole pages full of stuff. Let's head over to the phone. How about that big clock, by the way? Is that cool? Because that's a widget too. I got, I got Google. Look at that. I can just, I'm just, all I'm doing is paging through it just by swiping down on the, oh, on the little bit of app itself there. We'll do a whole, probably a whole couple of shows on that coming up. Today, I wanted to talk about uh, the new app library, which we started to introduce uh, last week. But remember, if you swipe from right to left across the bottom of your phone, all right, that little, by the way, the little buttons down on the bottom, they call that a page indicator. The little green, or excuse me, the little uh, white lights down at the bottom there. So I'm on page one, I'm on page two, see how the middle light lights up. I'm on page three, see how the third light lights up. But even though it only shows three lights at the bottom, I can swipe one more time across the phone and get to the app library. Super helpful because in two ways, really. The first one is this is what the phone is trying to do, the software to organize your apps. So yours is going to look different. So if you, you know, try this on your phone and you see a whole bunch of different apps, don't worry. It's just that's what you have on your phone. But you're always going to have the top two groups being suggestions. See where that first one is suggestions. And the other one next to it is recently added. And then under it, it's going to depend on what's on your phone. So the software is going to try and group things as best it can. So I have productivity, social, utilities, travel, creativity, entertainment. Yours will be different. But, and as we mentioned, this is kind of a quick review from last week as well. Uh, if you have more apps, if you have more than four apps in any group, and of course all of my groups do, you can see that there's three big app buttons, like for example on productivity there. There's three big apps, uh, buttons, whatever you choose to call them, and then a group of four small ones, which is just showing you there, there's a lot more. So if I tap on productivity and finance, just tap one time, it's going to open that up and show me all the apps that are in that group, which is a lot. Okay, so there you go. And then home button or home swipe, whatever it is on your phone to get back to this group. Now, the other piece that we talked a little bit about is the alphabetical listing of all the apps. If I tap up there where it says app library, I get the alphabetical listing. I can scroll and find whatever I want. If I'm looking for something specific, I can tap up there in app library again and start typing the name K for Kindle. Oh, there it is. And just tap on it and off I go. All right. One thing we didn't mention last week, if I put my finger right in the middle right in the column there between the groups and pull down, it does the same thing. It changes from the groups to the alphabetical listing. It's kind of pretty the way it does that too. It just kind of fades from one to the other. Okay, so that's how you can find any and all apps on your phone, right? Now, because of that, because now there is a listing of all the apps on your phone in that app library, it makes it a lot easier to keep things neat and tidy on your phone. So if you're one of those people that has bunches and bunches of pages of apps or groups of apps like I have, all right, you can now get rid of those and add them back to the library. And they do that with a brand new function. So here's, here's how we're going to take a look at that. Remember, any app, and we've talked about this a lot, right? If I literally just lean on, long press it's called, lean on an app, you're going to get a menu to pop up and it's going to offer you some options. But one of the things it's always going to offer is that bottom one there that says remove app. So if I lean on this button, remove app. If I lean on this one, remove, oh, not widget, but remove app, right? So they're all in there. 
So let's take this first one, this Genius app here. If I lean on that and I tap on Remove App, watch what happens. This is different now. Now I have options. I get two choices. It's, it's not just delete the app anymore. I can certainly click on the, tap on the red delete app, and it does exactly that, deletes the app, okay? Or, and this is the change, I can tap on move to app library, and it will take it off this screen and add it to the app library. Now, having said that, I'm gonna tap on cancel for a moment. Having said that, stuff is always in the app library. So if I come over here and I go down to the M's, uh, there it is, that MDC, that Genius app is already there, okay? Because remember, the app library is everything on the phone. Whether it's on a screen or not, that's everything. Having said that, now I can long press, I can tap on Remove App, and I can say Move to App Library, and it disappears from this screen, but we know we haven't lost it. It's just back there parked in the app library to try to make it you know, easier to get to. And remember, as always, if you don't like searching for things or if, you know, that's a pain to get back to that library, just have Siri do it. Just, you know, hey, Siri, open whatever the name of the app is that you want to open. OK, now one more thing. And I've struggled with trying to make it work. So I'm going to try on my screen here. If it doesn't work, you can try it yourself. And that is you can actually hide entire pages full of apps. So I have this page full of groups here. OK. And because I know that all of these apps, no matter what group they're in, they're already in the app library. So this is kind of redundant having them here, right? So long press, not on any, uh, not on any group or app, but just on an open piece of real estate on the screen. See down there in the lower right, there's an open chunk of space. I'm just gonna literally press right on it, long press. And now everybody starts to jiggle, same as before. And now, Look that, at that page indicator down there. It's gone from three buttons to four because it's including the app library. And if I tap on that, it should show me the pages, but I've struggled with this. So let me try again. Tap. Oh, it worked for me first time. So here's the pages that I have on my phone. Remember, three pages plus the app library. And you can see under each one, there's a little checkbox under each one, right? So if I literally just tap on the checkbox underneath that one, it disappears. See how the check went away? And I'm going to do it on the second one too. Checkbox, turn it off. Okay. Now when I go back, my home page, oh, let's hit home again. My home page is still there. But look, for starters, there's no page indicator because I only have the one page. And if I swipe one time, right to left, it goes immediately to the app library. So if you're like me, Maybe you just do this yourself. But if you're like me you and you like things neat and clean and tidy and not a lot of stuff, you can just hide all those pages that have other apps and groups on them. You haven't deleted them. They're still on your phone. Remember, everything's in the app library if you want to look for it. Or if you want to get them back, right, tap, press, tap on the little indicator, the page indicator down at the bottom. And there you go. Now I can bring them back just by click. And I'm going to leave the third one off. So now I've got, and hit home button again, I've got the first one, I've got the second one, and I go right to the app library. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so that's how you can clean up your phone and make it nice and neat and have only the apps that you want to see on it as you want them. Wow, so many cool things to cover and so many cool different things to check on. We'll be having more of these videos as we go. Right now, I want to remind you that if you haven't been there yet, you need to go over to the website, to BillSkolodowski.com. Make sure you are on our mailing list so that you get uh, the weekend reminder of the two videos. Every weekend, I put out just a quick single email to say these were the videos from the past week. If you missed them, go check them out. And also, if we have a handout, and we always have a free handout every week, you'll get a link to that as well. Totally free. You can print it out and save it, and it shows you how to do the things we did in the past week's videos. There you go. So just go over to BillSklodowski.com. That's the address down there at the bottom. Click on that Click Me button right in the middle of the homepage, and uh, just put in your email. And like I said, it's one email per week, not a lot. You know, we don't bombard you with a lot of stuff there. All right, that's going to do it for tonight for What's New Wednesday. Coming up Friday, 
We have been doing our iPhone Fridays with the iPhone A to Z, and last week the stars aligned and we had iPhone A to Z was I, so it just happened to be iOS 14. But this week I think we're going to still kind of focus on some of the changes and some of the upgrades that are still out there with iOS 14. There's a lot. Um, I think we'll probably start on widgets. That's the most fun one, and that's the one that people are going to really, I think, get the biggest bang for your buck with when it comes to, uh, you know, making the phone work exactly the way you want. If you have questions or comments, by the way, of course, just leave them if there's something that you'd like to learn about, and we will probably do a video on that too. All right, that's going to do it. Have yourself a great night. We'll see you Friday. This is Bill Skladowski. Take care.